I have been to a lot of instructors, and the, the most help I ever got in one moment was at the Tampa tournament. It's the last round, I'm seven shots out of the lead. David was there with me on the practice team. It was the easiest thing in the world to use the gravity golf system. I hit the ball dead at the pin for 18 consecutive holes, put it for 18 birdies, made 10 of them, shot 61 and won the tournament. 100% because of what David had told me that day. I've known David ever since he played the tour, and I can remember down in Houston years ago that he was talking about gravity golf. One of the biggest things that we've talked about is the word tension. If you want to learn how to take complete tension out of your golf swing and hit it further, go see David Lee. Simple as that. Most people have never experienced what it feels like to hit the ball like Freddie Couples because every swing they've ever made in their entire golf history has had tension in the downswing. They have a kill concept trying to come down and hit the ball. The reason that golf is complicated for people is that across the board, everybody learns to play the game wrong. They all start off flexing, trying to hit the ball. You have two options in hitting the golf ball. You can hit the golf ball with all of your weight, meaning every pound in your body can compre compress that ball, or you can hit it with just the weight of your arms. This is how 99.9% .9 of all golfers hit the ball. When that mass falls on the golf ball, it creates a completely different tone when it compresses the ball. This is what David was looking for when he looked for the gravity swing. He could hear the difference in the striking of the ball from Trevino and Jack, but he couldn't see a difference in the swing. And the difference he was hearing was more mass hitting the golf ball, 200 pounds of mass. If you see an individual uh, like Noah, for example, when he comes down, you can watch him frame for frame. His mass will move in every frame. There is no point where you're going to see the arms gaining on the mass rotation. I had a, an interesting conversation with Lee Trevino um, a couple of years ago, and he had been talking to one of the young guys that was on the long drive tour. And he said, Lee, I, I don't get it. They keep clocking me on the speed gun at 147 miles an hour. I keep getting out driven by a kid that clocks 115. And my comment to Lee was, everyone's obsessed with club head speed. They need to be obsessed with connected foot pounds at impact. The power in that swing is created through arc size, timing, mass, and tension relationships. So they, they learn how to move the thing and all the power is created through those mechanisms rather than through the use of muscle. That's why if you watch some of the women that train under the gravity golf system, they have enormous distance in bodies that look like, you know, they couldn't hit it that far. Moving the golf ball simply becomes a function of timing and mass release. But see, you can create tremendous power on that ball without doing anything. I didn't invent the gravity golf swing. All I did basically was identify it and, and give it a name which I felt was appropriate because gravity helps that golf swing work in three areas. Gravity returns the weight from the right foot to the front to the left foot right at the completion of the backswing. Gravity starts the arms down Momentum and gravity carry you into the counterfalls, and a gentle rotation of the body slings the arms to the finish of the swing. Once you realize you can actually swing softer at the golf ball and have it go further, that's, that's the amazing thing about it. You can actually have a slower moving club head and hit the ball further than a fast moving club head. There is a definite recipe to it, and if you understand what that recipe is, the thing will be a servant to you as long as you live. The miracle in the gravity system is the fact that we can force feed this swing into anybody at a very, very rapid pace. We know how the technical mechanism works. The swing mechanics are not a mystery. Trying to accelerate the process of feeding it into other individuals is a challenge. These things are so subtle in nature that you're never gonna figure them out unless you're in the drills. I take 
their mistakes and magnify their mistakes through these exercises so that anything they're doing where they're internalizing energy into their own system, which would cause path movement, they can immediately begin to feel that. And once they become sensitive to the fact that they're doing something that is technically wrong, they can feel where that mistake is and they can get rid of it. And when you throw out all the things that feel wrong, you're gonna take yourself right through the back door to the nothing feeling of a perfect swing. There you go. Look at that. Did you see that? Huh? You've got a mechanism inside your head, a computer that can teach you to do incredible things if you know how to turn it on. Your subconscious mechanisms, your cerebellum, your basal ganglia, your thalamus, your vestibular system in your inner ears, your proprioceptive system, your visual reference to things that are stationary when you're moving, all those are innate mechanisms which work without conscious process from us. They're incredible computers. I'll do things, for example, like put them into a, into a cross-footed mode where their safety envelope actually shrinks and they can immediately sense when they swing a club from a cross-footed position, if they tighten their arms in the downswing, they feel the potential threat to their balance. Your, your subconscious, it doesn't know whether you're hitting golf balls or chopping wood or killing snakes. All it knows is that if you yank your feet out from under you, you're gonna fall and hurt yourself. And when you start to do that, when you shrink your safety envelope and you start applying extraneous leverage to your body, your subconscious wakes up and it says, hey, what are you doing? You can't do that. You're going to throw yourself down. It says, let me show you a better way. And what happens is as you learn how to get control of your balance from a shrunken envelope, you gain perfect control of the swing path as a byproduct. And the drills that I use are difficult enough in nature so that un unless you swing the golf club like Freddie swings it, and it'll have your own look, but you'll be swinging it with the same technical mechanics that he uses. If you don't employ his mechanics, you can't execute the exercises that we use. And what's amazing about the brain is that if you're out there floundering with a drill, the brain gets quickly tired of mishitting the ball in these exercises and it finds a solution. Turn it back. All right, again. Up. That's better. Yeah, he's figuring that out. Mm -hmm. So the brain will figure out what to do. I mean, it's amazing. Even in beginning students, I see them develop the ability to strike the ball as purely as somebody like Trevino or Freddie. We do that over and over and over again with people and from experience we know that anybody can learn to do it. This is Electra on her first day as a golfer. Exactly. Put that swing on the ball right there. Super. Pow. Shut that face with the left hand a little bit more. Hello. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Deep turn, big rip. How's that? See you later. Huh? <laughs> Here, you can you can come kiss me right there if you want to. I saw him take a football player that never touched a golf club in his ever in his life, and in six months he was a four handicap. You know, you you just don't don't have a teacher like David Lee. If I was a young pro uh, uh, starting on tour, I would go to David Lee. He can take. A virtual beginner and in six months it's evident she's tour material and David used to tell me he could do that I didn't believe it I have seen it I can't say enough about David Lee he's the top 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 of the top David Lee might be the best teacher that ever lived